Julie, the Chicago Tribune reporting that ex-Chicago Alderman Danny Solis secretly recorded former Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan on a number of occasions. Solis said to be cooperating with the feds on a wide-ranging corruption probe. We're learning now that there are recordings that go back to 2014 with the Chinatown uh, deal, 2016 at the Democratic Convention. So one of the things that has become clear is that Solis has been given some significant breaks uh, for the crimes he is alleged to have done. And people wonder, why did he get such a good break? And now we know. WGN political analyst Paul Lisnick says that the news is a political bombshell. Solis, according to the Trib, making multiple audio and video recordings of the former House Speaker Michael Madigan, the longest serving Speaker of the House in the country, until he was forced to step aside. Madigan has not been charged with any criminal wrongdoing, but the 79 year old political power broker appears to be a target for the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Some of the Recent recordings reportedly taking place at the 2016 Democratic National Convention. Part of the focus during those conversations, according to the Tribune, involving a Chinatown property and a deal to build a parking garage. Madigan's private law firm specializing in real estate transactions. The deal was never consummated, but it raises one of many questions about new allegations that have to do with a possible conflict of interest. The feds are looking to basically say, were any lines crossed? We will see if and when the former speaker is indicted and if and when we learn about some of that evidence. The latest revelations, in addition to a wide-ranging investigation into a comment bribery scheme hanging over Madigan like a dark cloud, a former Madigan chief of staff, Tim Mapes, and Michael McLean, a close political advisor already facing federal corruption charges. Now we reached out to Mr. Madigan for comment and no word yet from his representatives. In the newsroom, Julian Cruz, WGN News.